Give it up, Charleston. Make some noise. <laughs> Who's talking about getting a tattoo? Who's getting a new tattoo? I want to get a new tattoo. You guys feeling a new tattoo? I've got the addiction. I want to get a tattoo right here on my neck that says, does this mean I don't get the job? Because it does. <laughs> it's a dumb place to get a tattoo. Unless you like turtlenecks. Or failure. <laughs> it's a, actually, I want to voice a pet peeve, and it's a little awkward to talk about uh, at a stand-up comedy contest because it's about other comedians. I really can't stand it when other comics say, Where are my weed smokers at? In segueing into their weed material. Really? At what time do you do that in public? Go out and call out somebody about their vices? You don't. You ever walk into a bar, stand on a stool, and say, where my alcoholics that neglect their kids at? <laughs> you don't. You don't do that. To me, the crowd only hears this when you say that. Who would like to identify themselves as a drug user to the people they brought with them that don't know, like their family or their co-workers? <laughs> thus ending up unemployed or divorced. <laughs> I would. I smoke pot every day. I love it. I enjoy it. Marijuana is good to me. And I don't really don't care what people say about it. You can write your senator, you can post it on the internet, I don't care. I'm a comedian. I don't get drug tested. <laughs> I don't. But just because I smoke pot and enjoy it doesn't mean I buy into stoner myths. Like, pot doesn't kill brain cells. I have a lot of friends that say, dude, pot doesn't kill brain cells, man. That's a myth. Oh yeah? Well, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but I'm pretty confident that this same person that tells me that pot doesn't kill brain cells often loses his keys in his hand. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's some negative side effects he's yet to deal with. That's what I'm saying. But pot's fun. It really is. Do you think it's time that, that, we, uh, that we legalize drugs? Is it time to decriminalize? Yes. The answer is not yes. <laughs> Crystal meth should never be legal. Let's be honest, folks. Any drug that ages you 15 years and 25 minutes, probably not the best for America. Maybe Mexico. Not America. And again, that's probably not necessary because they already have the good work ethic, so... Probably not totally needed. Have you ever seen the faces of meth? Pictures when someone's like, hasn't taken meth and they are a year and a half into taking meth, five years into taking meth. It's creepy, isn't it? Like the eyes bug out, the teeth are all messed up, the hair starts to go away. They kind of look like a hobbit that's turning into a golem. That's put the Lord of the Ring ring on too many times. That first hit of meth. Oh, man. It's amazing. He likes it. <laughs> Start hunching down, they take that second hit. Uh, 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 <laughs> of course, third or fourth hit, by this point they're hopelessly addicted and starting to get paranoid. So it's... She wants to take it from us. We must not let her have the precious. So good. So good. I love that impression. It's my favorite. But there's certain times when it comes in handy when you're not doing comedy. Like when you go out and you pick up a girl drunk at a bar and you take her home and you start to sober up and you realize this isn't going to work. <laughs> Perfect time for the Gollum impression. <laughs> you have to time it right though. It's very important. You have to be strategic. You have to wait till she's like going for it. She grabs the belt and you just like thunk a stupid hobbits. We must run. Let's take it. Let's go. She's gone. Unless she likes Lord of the Rings, then you're screwed. That's what I'm saying. I actually had a friend who was addicted to meth, and uh, the weird thing was mainly birthdays and Christmas. I didn't know what to get him as a present. What do you get a meth head for their birthday or Christmas besides their shit back? <laughs> What did I get him? $250 worth of cleaning supplies. 
It might make me an enabler. I don't particularly care. That's it. Thank you guys very much. My name is Matt Ward.